So we're back in the garage. I've um, loosened the motor mount, jacked up the engine some, and uh, got this manifold. We're going to attempt it to uh, slide on this engine block. As you can see, that was pretty straightforward. Again, what I did was take loose the motor mount, kind of jacked it up a little bit, and I uh, was able to get the manifold on. I'm gonna put the gasket on, tighten it up, and mop up the turbo, and uh, we'll be back. All right, so what we're looking at is the uh, turbo. Again, uh, more information about the turbo will be um, down below on YouTube. So EUR at RP went ahead and hooked up my coolant lines for me. So all I got to do is just make sure they're nice and snug and then uh, drop it on the uh, manifold, get them all connected up and uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, so I'm gonna drop it, drop it on this uh, manifold for uh, mop purposes and uh, see how easily it dropped down. Now I did go ahead and drop the engine back down so it's sitting on that motor mount. There she is and so Again, this would be coolant, um, feed, and then I've got drain down here, so I'll get these guys uh, connected, and uh, next we'll look at the uh, oil drain. All right, so next up, we're gonna install this bad boy to the oil feed. So I've already removed the, uh, the stock hard line, now I'm just removing the, uh, the banjo bolt along with the uh, washer. So RP provides this fitting. I just screw on the here. All right, I'll snug that up and uh, we'll install the uh, oil feed line. All right, so in front of the stock oil drain, you have this 12 millimeter bolt. IRP provides this Allen head to replace this bolt because this bolt protrudes out of the block too much, interfering with the old drain. So I've already removed this. Next thing I'm going to do is install this Allen. So IRP provides this oil drain flange, gasket, and new nuts for the uh, oil drain that's on the old block. So we'll install this bad boy. Alright, so what I did was I went ahead and connected the oil drain line to the fitting. Then I'm going to put these 10 millimeter bolts on. I'm um, not sure if this is the best way or easiest way to do it, but I'm going to try this route and uh, go from there. So I went ahead and took off the turbo manifold from the engine and mounted the turbo to the manifold because this guy right here is a pain in the butt to get to mount while the engine is in the car. So as you can see, there's not a whole lot of room here, and you had to use a thin 15 to keep in here and tighten it. But to get in there, I had to take off the oil drain. So just a little tip, when you um, put the manifold and the turbo in, you know, connect these guys outside the car, then drop it in the car. So I've already tightened these guys up. I'm going to button this back up, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, here we are. We've got the turbo and downpipe. Uh, mounted up, everything was pretty straightforward. Uh, we've got oil going into the turbo. We cranked it over, made sure oil was getting to the line, connected to the turbo, primed it. We made sure that the coolant load, uh, hose was all connected um, nice and tight, along with the coolant hose on the bottom. And then we also got the oil drain uh, connected. As you can see, the turbo install was pretty straightforward. Um, we'll see how she does over the next couple of days. Thanks for watching.